I try stomping Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in my puddle. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Pepper. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting juice. <laughs> Yum! This is orange juice! Mm, this is apple juice! Mm. This tastes like all the juices at once! That's because of a special rainbow juice! Yum, yum, yum! Pepper loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Yummy tasty food. Yummy tasty food. Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, goody! The restaurant buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Cake? Is it Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first! Here you go, Freddy! Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the star, do the dinosaur stop. Do the star, do the dinosaur roar. Stop, stop, stop. Roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stop. Stop, roar. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> The Little Boat. Pepper and her family are going on a picnic. I love picnics. Me too. The picnic spot is on the other side of the river. Oh, how do we get over there? We take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grumpy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please! <laughs> Oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. No, 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 your boat. Get it down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank 
you, Grumpy Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr. Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr. Pig. Oh, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> Stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh, I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Oh, no, no, your boat. Gently down the creek. Let me see your thing, my wolf. Don't forget to shriek. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr. Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry, we've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr. Wolf. There's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right, I could do with the rest. Mr. Wolf and Mr. Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's Leopard's George? They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! <laughs> These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like oh. new shoes, but are just like his old shoes. <laughs> Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George <laughs> loves his new shoes, and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Four tickets, please. <laughs> Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favorite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George. We're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost <laughs> movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. Me. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me, coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whoosh, whoosh. Yay, it's starting! <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. <gasps> it's the baddie! Yeah, oh dear. George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Oh! Pepper has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand will keep you extra safe. Wash! <laughs> Wash! <laughs> Plummy bounce on the bed. Of course. But Mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When Mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was 
she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr. Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow. Say hello to Jemima, Sarah, and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? Not when there's lovely corn to eat. Come on, this way home. Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. Here you are, chickens. Eat up. Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Peppa. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four! Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Look at them together. It is nice having a baby around again. <laughs> Everyone loves babies. <laughs> Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho oh, oh, ho, yes, all babies are sometimes. Gosh, that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Pepper? Look. Now there's a baby in my tummy, too. Ooh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving, too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. Ahem. Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. 
So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting. So I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more like foot tickles. <gasps> There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, a Ooh. baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <coughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> it is morning, and Peppa ah. is having some delicious breakfast. <laughs> Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favorite song! Skate Nothing deserves roller skates or flashings! Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that! Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Peppa! Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playroom. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play! Hooray! <laughs> Look what I have! It's a rainbow parachute! And we are going to play games with it! Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up. The boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up. The boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. The boat bobs down. The boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm the flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! One, two, three, and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. 
I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter, and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, 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 pop! 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 It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please. <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. And a sea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? This is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beat. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children? Old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah. Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can... Go! <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. <laughs> Thank you! You're very welcome. And I hope you've mm -hmm. learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep.
beep the horn all the time? That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. <coughs> We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everybody loves playing golf. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children? We are going on a creepy, crawly safari. Ooh. Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. <gasps> Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here. Try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the Rocky Wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking, so what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now, we arrive at the grass savanna. The home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! <laughs> Are they super jumpers? And have a nice quiet chat while the children play. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the soft play center where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children. <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck! Ooh. 
Ah, I'm stuck. Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh no, I'm stuck too. Help! Hello. Mr. Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr. Elephant, help! We're stuck. <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah, ah, I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> oh, what good little children you are. <laughs> ah. Where are your parents? Oh, oh, we're, we're stuck! stuck. Oh, oh, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both. But it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes. I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello? Rescue service? Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. We will rescue the grown-ups. Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Peppa, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love the soft play center. Everyone loves the soft play center. <laughs> Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing center. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad? Not again? Sorry! Rescue by a helicopter! Brilliant! Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount 